Welcome to Marble CD 080207. Today is a fine example of how my art progresses by combining and tweaking different styles to create something new. Uh, today the double vortex. The tweak will be opposing the spirals of the vortex. So opposing spiral vortexes or vortices or vorti or whatever the plural of vortex is. Basically an implosion vortex spun one way back with a normal vortex spun the opposite way. I'm going to keep the color scheme fairly simple. Black ivory, white, a dark blue, dark blue cobalt, just basically blue and white variations of blue and white. And uh, first step, get a nice size gather, Maria it out, place our dots for the implosion vortex. We've Maria to gather and put dots around the outside edge. You can see them, real small dots. Try and make them small with a good size gap in between them so that you can see through to the bottom vortex. We're going to work these down in and then uh, start the implosion process and implode them. It's basically like a sea anemone except for you're only putting dots around the outside edge, nothing in the middle. Or, 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 uh, Maria. We'll uh, implode the Maria and then we'll give it a twist to create our vortex, the implosion vortex. We started the implosion process. I want to try and illustrate the elbow up technique. Again, you want your Maria at about a 45 degree angle with the elbow, your elbow above the flame. You want the uh, flame on the tread of the tire, the edge of the Maria. And spinning it. I'm actually spinning and talking at the same time. Uh, spinning it. And then the actual implosion process comes when you flatten it out. Don't push too hard. Do it in lots of tiny steps. 45 degree angle. Flame on the tread of the tire. Just kind of let the weight of the glass Maria it out. So we've completed our implosion. Now we're going to give a little twist and pull. And back it, well, well twist and pull, and then we'll cone shape the end and back it with the regular vortex and twist in the opposite direction. Pretty good implosion, fairly straight down the center. We shaped the cone, started to apply our, our lines on the bottom. And the twist looks good on the, the implosion vortex. I kind of messed up space in my lines, so the implosion vortex is going to be, there's, there's eight white lines in the implosion vortex and only six white lines on the regular vortex. So we'll see if that really affects the, the pattern. I think it might make it a little bit more interesting. Life is art. Life is not perfect. So art should not be perfect. Finished drawing the lines and put a nice thick ring of the backing color, which is going to be the, uh, the, the cobalt blue, around the top. Now we're going to attach a punny and twist in the opposite direction that we twisted the implosion vortex. So it's uh, important that you remember which way you twisted the first vortex so you can twist the second one in the opposite direction. As we twist, we'll pull and terminate the point. There's a little air bubble trapped at the uh, bottom of the implosion. We'll try and get that out of there when we terminate the point. 
and then we'll back it with clear and uh, and then back it with the rest of the cobalt blue and decorate the back finished the second twist terminated the end point there and applied our clear filler glass this will shape up the vortex the second vortex trying to keep it the same diameter around the vortex is around the the lens and work this all together and uh, start to rough shape it applying heat to the center there using our marble mold pushing down inside the marble mold to fatten up the middle and round off the ends then we'll uh, back it with more of the cobalt blue add some peacocking or pinwheeling decoration to the back shape it up here we are on the first punny I don't see if you can see the opposing vortexes in there I think uh, I didn't twist the <clears throat> excuse me I didn't twist the first vortex enough I think could have stood to, to twist it a little bit more I was afraid of over twisting it but, uh, we're on our first putty we're going to go ahead and uh, finish shaping it up we'll stick it in the kiln and take a look at it after it comes out I didn't do a whole lot of peacocking on the back it's just too hot and too humid in the afternoon I'm sweating like a pig pigs don't sweat I know it's the figure of speech I was more focused on the uh, inside than the outside anyway for my first one. Looks good. We'll finish shaping it up and see what it looks like when it comes out of the kiln. And there she is fresh out of the kiln. Let's zoom in here. You can see it. Uh, I was right. I, I didn't spin the, the implosion vortex enough. So it almost looks like it's, it's straight. There's a little bit of a flare in the opposite direction, but I need to spin it a little bit more. Overall, it looks pretty good. It's still kind of big. Let's see, right at an inch and a quarter. So we're pushing the limits of this Nortel Miner. This is probably going to be the last video for the Nortel Miner. Um, going to order the Barracuda tomorrow, Friday, and uh, I'll be uh, working on this design here for at least a week. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick to this and, and, uh, and make a bunch of these, but overall I like it. I like the design. I, I'm, uh, I'm going to make more of these, so probably won't see you for a couple weeks, but when I do, we'll be on the Barracuda. Thanks for watching. See you next time.